Bill O'Reilly here, Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. The White House and Congress seem to agree on a $2 trillion stimulus plan. President Trump wants the USA open for business by Easter. Third of the planet now under virus lockdown. The Fed say terrorists may exploit the pandemic. New York City Mayor de Blasio wants hundreds of inmates released from jail. Also ahead, will America save the world once again? But first, there seems to be a deal on a giant virus stimulus package. The $2 trillion plus agreement is the largest bailout in American history. Senator Schumer describing the deal as, quote, unemployment compensation on steroids. The plan now heads to the House, where it's expected to pass, but with Nancy Pelosi in charge there, anything could happen. President Trump hoping Americans will return to work by Easter Sunday, at least most of us. He thinks the economy should be, quote, opened up and raring to go in less than a month. Economists say shutting down the private sector beyond the summer could spark a worldwide depression. India announcing a mandatory quarantine for 1.3 billion people. And now more than a third of the world is under lockdown. There are currently 400,000 cases of COVID across the planet. The death toll stands at 17,000 in 100 countries. The Department of Homeland Security warning Americans that international terror groups could capitalize on the contagion. The memo stating jihadists may target USA interests while our government scrambles to stop the disease and is diverting. I discuss the terror threat in a brand new column posted on BillOReilly.com, and I hope you read it. New York City Mayor de Blasio planning to release at least 300 inmates from the Rikers Island prison complex. The mayor says the temporary clemency of nonviolent offenders, that includes drug dealers, of course, could reduce the risk of virus outbreaks at city jails, where the population in New York City is 9,000. In a moment, the USA has saved the world in the past. Can we do it again? There is a race to defeat this virus. I will tell you all about it after these announcements of interest. A former White House economist says there's a 100% chance of a recession and predicts 1 million jobs will be lost in April. So many Americans are moving to physical gold and silver as a recession-proof safe haven for their retirement. American Hartford Gold Group is a trusted leader in gold and silver, and they make it simple and easy to get started. They're family-owned and have an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Very important. Until you hold a precious metal in your hand, you'll never fully know the experience of being in control of your own retirement. If you are listening to me right now, the American Hartford Gold Group is offering new clients up to $500 in free silver. All you have to do is give them a call, 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text SILVER. Two six five five three two. Please call the American Hartford Gold Group now, 877-444-4653 or text SILVER to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. America is the most powerful nation on earth, and we have saved the world a number of times. In 1918, The USA and its allies defeated the Kaiser in Europe. During World War II in the 1940s, we and our allies defeated Tojo in Japan and Hitler in Germany. Both of those countries would have enslaved the world. Then America embarked on a decades-long fight against communism, and we won. It took blood, treasure, and patience, but we defeated the Stalin version of communism and freed billions, with a B, of people all over the world. So, can we do it again using medical science? 
As everyone knows, the pandemic is causing havoc all over the planet. Approximately 15% of COVID-19 patients require hospitalization. That number is anywhere between 12 and 15% in the USA. Of those people, about 20% wind up in intensive care, causing a huge burden on systems everywhere. Now, American microbiologists, scientists, medical people are feverishly, pun intended, working to find a cure for the coronavirus, COVID-19. Here is a list of treatments currently being tested by the Centers for Disease Control based in Atlanta. Remdesivir, originally developed by Gilead to combat Ebola. Remdesivir shuts down viral replication by inhibiting a key enzyme. The first COVID-19 patient diagnosed in the USA, a young man in Sonomish County, Washington State, was given the drug when his condition worsened. He improved the next day, so this is promising. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. At a press conference on Friday, President Trump called the drugs a, quote, game changer. But that might be a bit optimistic in jumping the gun. Quote from the president, I feel good about it. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is ordering the drugs to be dispensed this week in his state, which is the hardest hit place in America. However, there is no proof this drug cocktail will work. It is a hope. Ritonuvir. This drug, sold under the brand name Calera, was approved in the USA in the year 2000 to treat HIV. The first trial with COVID-19 was not encouraging. Doctors in Wuhan, China, gave 199 patients two pills of the drug twice a day. There was no significant improvement. Blood Serum. Using the blood of those who have beaten the coronavirus and tested negative for more than two weeks, the antibodies can then be injected into those suffering from the illness. This method has been used for more than 100 years, but typically takes a long time to perfect. Corporations like Pfizer, Merck, and Biogen working on a cure. Can America save the world again? We will see. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it in a moment. Something you might not know. Take the Omega XL 30-day test and put pain to rest. Bill O'Reilly here. You know that pain and stiffness in your back, neck, knees, or hips that never gets better? Tackle the root cause of your pain, inflammation. It's like a raging fire in your body. If you don't put it out, it can cause serious problems. That's why I take Omega XL, powerful natural supplement shown in 30 years of research to relieve joint and muscle pain caused by inflammation. Omega XL is a unique oil extract from green-lipped mussels from the pristine waters of New Zealand. It is safe, small, easy to swallow. So take the Omega XL 30-day test and put pain to rest. To get my special discount, please visit OmegaXL.com slash bill. Omega, the letters XL, dot com slash bill omega xl dot com slash bill now the o'reilly update brings you something you might not know the coronavirus plague has changed the daily lives of nearly all americans businesses are closed millions staying home most of us worried about the future a new poll from abc news shows how folks are coping with the plague mentally economically and even how we spend our time In the last week, more than 7 in 10 Americans have canceled or postponed group activities. That number was just 25% in early March. Hardest hit, the country's food industry. 57% of adults refuse to dine out, and that includes picking up food and having it home delivered, and having it home delivered, 57%. Folks also avoiding religious services. A third of us are skipping Sunday prayers. Sometimes the churches are closed. Sporting events canceled in all 50 states. 
33% of us say we have ditched the local competition to reduce contact with others. A staggering number of Americans are now working from home. That figure was just 3% two weeks ago. Only a third of American workers now report to the office. The disease also having a major impact on mental health. According to the Wall Street Journal, doctors are reporting a spike in depression, anxiety, alcohol, and drug use. Researchers also say Americans are suffering what they describe as a lack of milestone moments. Across the country, millions have been forced to cancel or postpone weddings, graduations, birthdays, and that leads to increased isolation and depression. Here's something else you might not know. The public mostly supports President Trump's handling of the virus, giving him high marks on his administration's decision to slow the country down for at least 15 days. But his support is still split along party lines. 92% of Republicans back the president's approach to the contagion. Just 30% of Democrats support Donald Trump during the pandemic. Always, politics is with us. Summing up, Americans are worried as we should be. This pandemic is a historical situation, but the economy will get back to normal. Back after this. Computer systems in cars, now common. Mine has dozens of sensors, touchscreen displays, and electronically controlled transmission and more. Advanced tech is expensive to fix if and when it breaks, which is why I have Car Shield. Car Shield is affordable protection plans that can save you thousands for covered repairs, including computers, GPS, electronics, and much more. With Car Shield, you're behind the wheel of your own plan. When I'm on the road, I know that I'm covered with their 24 7 roadside assistance. If my car breaks down, I know Car Shield will provide a rental car for free while mine gets fixed. With rates as low as $99 a month, you have little to lose, so get covered by Car Shield today. Please call 800 CAR 6000 and mention code BILL. Or go to carshield.com and use code BILL to save 10%. A deductible may apply. Carshield.com. Please use code Bill. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs>